Welcome back. This is uh, the third segment in section 1.1. Uh, I know the last one was kind of long. Uh, I was trying to finish up a, a specific problem, uh, but I think we should, without too much difficulty, be able to finish um, the remainder of section 1.1 with this last segment. So, as you recall, we had talked about um, previously. We had talked about uh, some some uh, relationships between different angles, supplementary, complementary. And we were starting to delve into this idea of, of uh, you know, being able to name the zoo of different kinds of uh, angles that will come up. Now, most of this is a setup to, to triangles and some measures of uh, triangles and how those relate to the trigonometric functions, um, which is which is sort of later on down the road. But but those are the, the examples we used are, are relatively simple. Um, they will get harder, believe me. So uh, this next this next little bit. Uh, is is uh, talking about some different types of units. I know that um, some some folks are maybe familiar with what's called the degrees, minutes, seconds. Uh, probably the most thing you're familiar with is decimal degrees when it comes to measurements. So uh, this is just kind of a little sideline uh, in the textbook. It's something that um, you know is used a lot in industry. Um, and in fact, um, gosh, I use I I use so many degrees, minutes, seconds. Um, as a surveyor that it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it, it's almost second nature to me. However, for, for a student that's relatively new to this, it could be a little confusing. So what we wanted, what we wanna be able to do sort of at the beginning, uh, and this is just a little sideline, but it's something that you need to be able to do, is we wanna be able to um, work with angles without converting them, right? Um, so, but we also wanna be able to convert them. So we wanna be able to one, Take uh, angles that are on in uh, some form of a, des uh, a degrees, minutes, second measurement. We want to know what that notation looks like. Uh, and then we want to be able to convert those into decimal degrees. We want to be able to take decimal degrees and convert them into degrees, minutes, seconds. And we want to be able to add and subtract uh, angles that are in degrees, minutes, seconds without conversion. So those are sort of three tasks that we want to do. That may actually take longer uh, than I'm anticipating in which case we might have to have a fourth segment. We'll see where we get to. So um, let me just switch over here real quick. Uh, it should take just a second to get my background off. Um, and I believe, I believe we were on page seven, so I'll just keep right on with that. So this is uh, section 1.1, page number seven. Section 1.1 is probably a little longer than it needs to be, but we are, like I said, we're trying to catch things up. Okay, so let's let's talk about smaller divisions. Of the degree. Okay, so the, uh, some of this class is, is applied, and so maybe it's a it's a good time to talk about how to convert um, just units in general. Uh, in order to convert a unit, you have to have an equality. There has to be some one thing is equal to another thing, and then you use that, basically you'll be multiplying things by um, one, you know, a ratio of these. So, so here's, here's the connection between degrees and smaller units. So one degree is equal to, exactly equal to 60 minutes. And that's the symbol for a minute, an arc minute. Sometimes it's used, the term arc is added in there so that you know that it's different than like, a time division, even though it looks looks very very similar. So uh, one uh, six, one degree is equal to sixty minutes. Uh, one minute is equal to sixty arc seconds. And if you combine these two things together, you get that one degree is equal to thirty six hundred arc seconds, which happens to be. I mean, this is very similar to hours, minutes, seconds. This is how many seconds are in an hour. Uh, Etc. Now, there's reasons, historical reasons, why these numbers are used, but they, they they're not. Maybe this isn't the right place to be talking about them. So the first thing we want to be able to do by hand is we want to be able to add or subtract two angles in what's called DMS, degrees, minutes, seconds, shorthand. So let's try um, let's try adding let's say for example find 
Now here's the symbolism, 40, uh, 74 degrees, 32 minutes, 53 seconds, plus let's say 28 degrees, 28 minutes, 17 seconds. Now, I will tell you from experience that it seems like the first time people do this, there is this uncanny desire to convert these to degrees, to decimal degrees. And the point of this exercise is not to do that, is to actually do this by hand, add these two things together where they are in the actual units that you're working with. The reason being is you start creating round off errors and, and all sorts of things when you convert out of these. And this is not a major scale, but it's something that if you ever actually have to make measurements of angles in a large setting, this is probably how you're gonna be working. It. So here's, here's sort of the basics. It looks just like, you know, that old sort of um, long addition where you line things up. So uh, we will take 74, 32, 53, and we're going to add to it 28, 28, 17. Okay. Now, when you're dealing with decimal degree, when you're dealing with decimals, you kind of do column by column, right? There's sort of like a dot here and whatever else. So you work with whatever the unit is or, or wherever the decimal place is. And this is really the place for seconds. So we need to add seconds by themselves. So you treat this as a single addition problem. Forget about everything else for a minute. So when you add this up, you end up with 70 arc seconds. Now, just like when you get a number that say, you know, seven, seven plus five uh, in a column is equal to 12, you write down the two and then you carry the one. This is exactly what we're gonna do here. So since one minute is equal to 60 seconds, we're going to reduce the number by 60, which is just gonna be 10, and then we're going to carry the one right? Same thing as what we did before, what we've done in, a, in sort of a, a more, I don't know, sort of elementary school addition problem. Now we move to the minutes uh, unit, and we add these three, three numbers together. So we have 32 plus 28 is 60, plus that extra one is 61. Same kind of thing here. Uh, we will subtract 60 from this. We end up with zero one, and I put that zero there for a reason, and you should too. Um, but then we also carry a one, another one gets carried. And then finally, the degrees works just like anything else. So 74 plus 28, that's going to be 102. We add it, we have that extra one that comes with it. So we have 103 degrees. And this right here is the way to express this, because just, just so we're clear, this is 103 degrees plus one minute plus 10 seconds. This is sort of a shorthand of removing all those pluses. Now, by the same token, it seems like, I mean, it's, it's deceptively, um, it's deceptive to kind of, uh, uh, you know, you think that you've got this all worked out, but I want to show you sort of a mathematical quip. When, um, when people are uh, learning how to do this long addition and long subtraction, they tend to focus on uh, results that are positive. And uh, unfortunately, that can create some real problems. So if you work with subtraction, let's say, and I'll do this with a really simple problem, but let's say like uh, if you wanted to subtract, um, let's say, oh, I don't know, let's say 27 from 14. Now, you know the answer is negative 13. I want, to, I, I want to illustrate that it, if you try to file, follow the algorithmic process, uh, what would you do here? You'd say, okay, well, I've got four minus seven, which seven's larger than four, so I need to carry the one and, and subtract uh, seven from 14. That gives me seven, and this now becomes zero. And then when I subtract two from zero, I get negative two. What's going on there? Well, it turns out that the algorithm for doing, um, doing subtraction doesn't really work if the, the number you're subtracting uh, is larger <laughs> in magnitude than the number you're subtracting it from, okay? So here's, here's sort of an, an algebraic reality. If you have A minus B, I think it should be pretty obvious that this is equal to negative 
B minus A. Seems kind of silly, but this is true. So the algorithm that you generate that, that you remember from elementary school does not work when B has a larger value than A. It just doesn't work. However, you can do uh, B minus A, which will give you a positive number, and then you apply the negative sign. So the way to really treat this problem is to say, okay, instead of that, I'm going to do 27 minus 14, and then remember that my result is negative. So when I do this, it becomes much easier to see that the answer is negative 13, right? Well, so negative 13, because I need to apply this negative sign, right? So how does that apply to degrees, minutes, seconds? Well, it turns out that if, you, if you're doing a degrees, minutes, seconds problem, and the number you're subtracting is actually larger <laughs> than the number you're subtracting it from, you're gonna run into this same problem. Now, I'm not saying there's a lot of these, but it is kind of relevant. And, um, and I will show you how to deal with it real quickly here. Uh, and then we'll move on to something of more interest. So, section 1.1 now, I think we're on page eight. So subtract the following. or find the difference or whatever. I mean, there's a million different ways to say that. That's not really the point of this. So let's say we wanna subtract, oh, uh, say 28 degrees, 14 minutes, 18 seconds minus, uh, we need something a little bit larger. So let's say like uh, 72 degrees, 33 minutes in 12 arc seconds, okay? Now, right off the bat, we recognize that this is a larger, ignoring the sign for a second. This is a larger number in magnitude than this one. And so we're going to do that little algebraic trick where instead of doing uh, 28, 14, 18 minus 72, 33, 12, I'm going to actually do the reverse. So to do it by longhand, I've got 72 degrees, 33 minutes, 12 seconds, minus 28 degrees, 14 minutes, 18 seconds. And then the result will have a negative sign. So uh, we'll end up with something that's positive here, but we know that the answer needs to be negative. So what do we do first? Okay, when we have a lot, when we're trying to subtract uh, a larger number from a smaller number, we need to borrow uh, a unit from the previous, uh, from the next higher uh, decimal or placeholder, or whatever you want to call it. So in this particular case, we're going to borrow one from 33. Now, what is that? What does that turn into? Well, it's an addition of 60 arc seconds here. So this actually becomes 72. Now I can actually subtract 18 from 72 and I end up with 54, okay? Uh, now going to this unit, it's 32 minus uh, 14. That's actually not too bad. Uh, that happens to be 18. And I don't need to borrow. So now I'm gonna subtract 28 from, uh, from 72. I believe that is uh, 44. So my doing my subtraction here, I get a, an angle of uh, 44 degrees, 18 minutes and 54 seconds. Now, because, because uh, the initial problem is clearly going to give us a number less than zero, the actual answer is negative 44 degrees, 18 seconds or 18 minutes and 54 seconds. Now, this I have to be, again, this notation's a little bit um, sort of sandwiched together. And for whatever reason, I find that students really kind of mess this up. Uh, but just to be clear, this is 44 degrees, negative 44 degrees, minus 18 minutes, minus 54 seconds. And sometimes when you're trying to do some of these conversions and different things, that'll mess people up. Uh, so just be real careful with the SIG. And basically the best way to do it is to pretend like the SIGN doesn't exist, uh, work with everything positively, and then apply a logic to figure out what to do with it. Okay, so uh, the next thing I wanna do is to convert, let's say um, a decimal, let's, let's convert uh, 13.8625 degrees, to DMS. Okay, so um, kind of a little bit uh, tricky here. How do we start that? Well, it turns out that 
um, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of do this truncation where we just take anything that's got a whole number that becomes the next unit and then we work with the frac with the uh, the decimal part so recognize that this is 13 degrees plus 0 0.8625 degrees right we kind of split it apart and then we're going to convert this to uh, minutes that's kind of the process we first split off the whole number with the remainder, we then convert the remainder into the next lower uh, decimal. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of write that out here. Now, the way that we do conversions is you gotta have a ratio where it's the unit you wanna get into divided by the unit you're already in. So I go back to that equality where one degree is equal to 60 minutes. Uh, so the number one is equal to 60 minutes divided by one degree. And so basically all I'm doing is I'm multiplying by one. So I've got 60 seconds divided by one degree, okay? And this turns out to be equal to 13 degrees. When I do the calculate, when I do this calculation, I mean, I should probably do it on a calculator, that's okay. I don't want, I don't expect you to do long multiplication for everything, but I do want you to be able to do this, sort of understand what's going on. So I've got 0 0.8625, I'm gonna multiply that by 60 minutes divided by one degree. There's no reason to actually do that division by one. And we're left with 51.75. So now I have another decimal, but this is now in a new unit, which is minutes. So I do the same thing all over again. I've got 13 degrees plus 51 minutes plus 0 0.75 minutes. And then I do the conversion to seconds. So this is 60 seconds divided by, I'm sorry, one minute. It's so the unit I want to get into divided by the unit I want to get out of. And this is a pretty simple calculation. This actually is 45. So this ends up being 13 degrees, 51 minutes, and 45 seconds. Now, we're going to sandwich this down to make it really compact because there's no need to put the pluses in there. Uh, 13 degrees, 51 minutes, 45 seconds. So there's the conversion from decimal degrees to degrees, minutes, seconds. And this is this process is repeated over and over again. Now, um, I could show you, and, and maybe I will, just let's do one that's maybe um, not quite so complicated. Let's, let's find out here. Um, the problem with um, degrees, minutes, seconds going, converting back is I often end up with repeating, uh, like repeating decimals, and I'd like to avoid that. Um, but there is some subtlety to how this works. So let me just try one, just calculate one that works real quick. Oops, sorry, 15.2526, turn that. Let's try 15.2436. Okay, yeah. So convert 15 degrees, 24 minutes, 36 seconds to decimal degrees, DD, it's usually out there. And it's a symbol that's on your calculator and it can be done very quickly, but we want to be able to do this longhand. So what do we do here? All right, well, first off, we're going to break this up into 15 degrees plus, well, you got 24 minutes. And of course, I'm wanting to get to degrees, so the unit I want to get into divided by the unit I want to get out of, right, plus 36 arc seconds. And again, it's the unit I want to get into divided by the unit I want to get out of. There's the equality. It's a new one, which uh, we, we mentioned at the very beginning and then do all the, the calculation. Now, again, I'm not really expecting you to, to necessarily do this longhand. 24 divided by 60. Okay, so 24 divided by 60 gives us 0.4. So we've got 15 degrees plus 0 0.4 degrees. And then this last one, 36 divided by 3,600. Well, that happens to be uh, 0 0.01. I don't even need a calculator to do that, but it's 0 0.01 degrees. And of course, we want to sandwich all these together. So this ends up being 15 degrees, or sorry, 15, again, I wrote 14, 15.41 degrees. Okay, so this is the conversion of this degree minute second 
into decimal degrees. So now you can you can add and subtract decimal degree or degrees, minutes, seconds. You always could add and subtract decimal degrees. We know how to convert a decimal into a degree, minute, second, and now we can convert a, dec a degree, minute, second into a decimal. Okay, so I think this is this is actually probably I'm going to need to go into uh, another segment, even though it'll be relatively short, but we won't have nearly as many uh, problems associated with it. It's just some some concepts and some ideas. So um, let me, I will just see you all here in the next segment.